press F3 and G. Now to the most crucial part, I've seen so many people doing this wrong, raging about it. Let's put that there and let's just fill this thing up. Oh my god. What? Wait, does this not count? I've made this much cobblestone and it says I've only mined 30k. How? And getting so mad at it that while mining with this cobblestone farm, you don't collect any cobblestone collection or only a little bit of it and also no mining. So there is a little glitch or little bug you can use to stop this from happening. Hi guys and welcome to a new episode on Hypixel Skyblock. Today I will be showing you how to build this bad boy, the cobblestone farm, and how to use it for maximum efficiency and how you can use some neat little tips and tricks to get the most out of it. Okay, getting into the material to build this thing, you will need some glass, some building blocks, I'm taking quartz here, some cobblestone, signs, obsidian, couple of lava buckets which is one double chest of lava buckets plus two extra some buckets you can fill them with water if you like or you can just put a water source next to it you will be need needing 40 in to 14 in total and of course the teleport pads also i recommend a sword to defend yourself against any mobs that might attack you while building this a pickaxe and an axe if you do make any mistakes and if you already have the mushroom soups unlocked which is in the mushroom collection then you can use the mushroom soups mushroom collection four you just go to the mushroom island with the cactus and and the sugarcane and grind there for 15 20 minutes to get this unlocked and you're good to go so first off what you'll be wanting to do is go into Minecraft version 1.10 or you can also go into a higher one at least 1.10 press F3 and G which will be showing you the chunks in Minecraft so what this is is a 16 by 16 uh, chunk in Minecraft and it goes infinitely high into the sky well to the highest point you can build and as far down as you can build and what this is if you've ever heard of chunk loading in Minecraft, chunk loads the data you get. So if I would be to teleport to this island, then these chunks would load separately. So first this one would load, then this one, and so on. And what this helps if you have the chunks shown in Minecraft and you use the teleport pads to get from back there to here again, which we'll be using in the end, then it will be a lot less jumpiness when you get teleported and it will be a lot smoother. If you make this infinitely long, this cobblestone farm, and then put the teleport pad, you will have a lot of jumpiness and problems happening. When you found your chunk, you can mark it with some blocks and switch the version because 1.10 has automatically jumping in Minecraft. Um, some of you might not like that so you can switch your version if you've marked your chunk or you can just keep it and then get your building blocks as well as the glass and some cobble the lava and so on and now you want to be starting by making a five wide with one three in the middle trench of your building blocks i'll be using the quartz and pull it all the way to the beginning On the right side you will want to put one glass here and make the other side two blocks high and put another glass here and on this side you will be making the whole thing two blocks high. Now you can switch off the chunks and you can take your signs and place them inside. When you're finished doing that you can head back to the beginning now I'll be showing you how to build the part with the water and the lava bit by bit. We will only be putting the water in the very top. If you put water anywhere here, then your lava will turn into obsidian and that's not what you want. So be very careful to put no water here or onto the walls. I'll be showing you that later. Now what you want to be doing is taking your glass and making an arrangement like this, exactly the same on the other side. 
I'll be showing you the left side first, which will be the side with the lava, and you will be wanting to take some cobblestone, place one here, this block can go away again without destroying the rest of the farm, and then just take the cobblestone up. In total, it will be six blocks of cobblestone you will be having, and the same with the glass. Put your building blocks here, and another glass here. Then you will be doing the middle part. Next you will take your lava buckets and you will be starting to fill up the lava. This is a part where the soup is quite useful so you can always fly up and put the lava in. If you don't have the soup you can just build yourself some ladders or a stair here. Now what you want to be doing is not put the lava in the very bottom, that would just be a waste. Put it on the second block like this and you will see the lava is going to be flowing down. After finishing the first row with the lava, you'll be taking your glass and building blocks again and filling up the next row. And you're going to carry on the same game with the lava buckets again here. Okay, so when you finish the second row, on to the third row. And same again for the last row, you will just want to be keep pulling up this cobblestone wall, the glass and the corners with your building blocks. And if you did everything right, you will use your last bucket for the end of the fourth row. Now we can go on to the water. For this, it's quite easy. You will just be taking your glass and building blocks and pulling up the walls first. So this will carry on up to here. This will carry on up to here. And for the cobblestone, you'll be filling up one row higher than the lava. You'll see in a second why this is important. For the walls you can use the glass and for the corners you use the normal building blocks. So finishing off this part you can just pull the line of your building blocks all the way around. And now you will be putting the water buckets all along the top line of this. So finishing off, you can take some cobblestone and place it all along the side. You can use anything you like. And at the very end comes the obsidian. The same on the other side. So cobblestone all along this part and obsidian at the end. The obsidian helps you to stop you mining this part. You can also leave this open if you want. It just makes the whole feeling a little better. So next you'll be taking your teleport pads, creating a hole here, putting one teleport pad here and the second one right under the next obsidian. So this one has no destination set. If we look in the chat, this is the red teleport pad, so the first one. So what you'll be doing is setting this to the red one. Change destination, red teleport pad. Finished. And now, as we run along here, it will keep warping us back to here. That was the part building your farm. Now we'll be getting to the actual mining part. For the mining, you will need a haste 3 potion. This you can unlock in the coal collection. You will need it at least on coal 3. So if you haven't done this yet, then you have to go to the coal mine and start mining coal or get a coal minion. First off, you will be making some awkward potions with the nether wart, then adding the coal, uh, then adding the enchanted glowstone dust. And in the end, you can add an enchanted redstone or a normal redstone, enchanted redstone is double as long as a normal redstone. It just adds more time to your finished potion. You can also just leave it like that. You will just be needing more of the enchanted glowstone then. So while this is brewing, we will be taking a look at the pickaxe we'll be using. It is a golden pickaxe and it has telekinesis 1, so you collect the cobblestone immediately. 
as well as efficiency 5. Efficiency you can unlock in the redstone collection and you can just make yourself some efficiency 4 books, put them together on the pickaxe. In one of the next episodes I'll be showing you how to enchant the best possible way and to make it the cheapest as possible, but for now you will just be wanting to get this pickaxe, get your haste 3 potions, you might want to empty your inventory as far as possible. After drinking the haste potion you will be want to be using your time as efficiently as possible and start mining straight away and as you can see within a couple of seconds I've gathered a couple of blocks of cobblestone already. Now to the most crucial part I've seen so many people doing this wrong raging about it and getting so mad at it that while mining with this cobblestone farm you don't collect any cobblestone collection or only a little bit of it and also no mining. So there is a little glitch or little bug you can use to stop this from happening. While looking up all the time and farming, as you can see in the bottom, my mining is going up all the time and after doing this for two, three times, it will just stop. So now at 2,568, it just stopped and I'm not getting any more now. There's a little trick I can do now and it will keep counting all the time. As you can see, it doesn't stop counting, although I'm already on my fourth round. So how does this work? While mining, you don't want to be looking up all the time, because this shows high pixel that you are just in a cobblestone farm, in a farm. Also, if you're just standing still on one point and farming, then high pixel also tracks this. To avoid this tracking is you want to be moving all the time, which you're doing already in this cobblestone farm anyway, but you will also be want to move your head all the time. So while I'm getting teleported back, I'll show you in a second, I look forward a little and look back up. So look forward, look back up. Look forward, look back up. Every time I get teleported back, I will look a little forward to the front, just like this, and look back up. And as you can see, my mining experience keeps on coming in and my cobblestone collection also keeps going. So when you filled up your whole inventory with cobblestone you can go to your crafting table and make it all to enchanted cobblestone and then keep mining. Sometimes you might see some problems happening with your farm like some water or lava being in the center. This usually is only client sided so only on your minecraft and not on the server whereas it does decrease the efficiency of your farm so I would quickly fix this if it is only one or two blocks you can quickly remove them otherwise you can just connect to the hub island and connect back to your island and you should be good to go. So after 16 minutes of mining I was able to get nearly a stack of cobblestone I'm sure you can get a lot more since I was explaining quite a bit of stuff and guys write in the comment section how much you were able to get in 16 minutes I'm sure some of you will be able to get more than double as much as I did. I haven't tested whether you get a boost in mining if you use the rogue sword to give yourself speed or use some potions to give speed or if speed has any effect on this. We'll be looking at that in the next few episodes. Also for selling the cobblestone you can do this in the auction house. Don't sell it to the NPC because you'll be getting a lot less in the auction house. One of these goes for around 60 to 80,000. Or you can unlock the super compactor after mining a couple of these stacks. And if you have redstone quite far, you can make the enchanted redstone block. Make yourself a super compactor, they also go for quite a bit. So guys, that was it for the cobblestone farm. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, post them down below. I would very much appreciate if you, if you like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out any new episodes on Hypixel Skyblock. See you next time.